No, that was a long day. Uh, we left out early this morning. Actually, I got up early, went to the gym so that we could have a full day Friday, uh, beautiful hot weather day. It was back to the hot, sunny South Florida weather today. And uh, we have some friends visiting from Louisville down here for their vacation, staying with us. And uh, so we decided today we were gonna go down to Naples and Marco Island. Now, if you don't know where Marco Island is, it's on the west coast of Florida, pretty much as far down as you can go, um, and is pretty much due north of Key West, just on the west coast of uh, South Florida. And it's pretty isolated. It's you know around the Everglades, and there's just a couple roads that go over to the island, and it's pretty exclusive. Kind of place that people like us like to go just drive and look around. We don't do anything there. So I uh, took the trip down there today and uh, just drove around, looked at the big homes. Actually, some homes weren't that big, but were still incredibly expensive. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but we, we stopped in Naples, uh, walked around for a while, shopped for a boat. Uh, here you'll see, um, you know, we were looking at the, the, this place that, that sells yachts and uh, we found one boat that was a 2020 model and um, they wanted about four million for it. So, uh, but at the end of the video, I'll show you the boat that we settled on finally. Uh, so it was a fun day of, of shopping and looking around. And, uh, you know, we went to, um, you know, like I said, Marco Island, then drove back, uh, drove up through the coast from Naples up to uh, by all the way back to Fort Myers ultimately, but through Bonita Springs and everything, and drove through Vanderbilt Beach, uh, some pretty exclusive areas along the coast. And you drove past one place and you know we were all kind of like, oh, look at that place, look at that house. That's it's just incredible. I can't believe someone owns that, you know. And w we drove past one place and someone said something, so I, and I had Zillow open just kind of looking at places and it was like, uh, I don't know, it was like $30 million or something like a 37 million, I can't even remember. And uh, so when we got home, I looked at the place again and um, it, it, the two places next, that was the smaller of the three places. There were two places next door, two houses. One was 60 million, one was 65 million. Now, at what point is, too, it, it, it is something too much? Not just too much money, but excess, just too much. Now I'm gonna show you the screenshot from Zillow of the place. Now that 65 million is, I guess, the Zillow estimate or the Zestimate, uh, but it's usually generally pretty, pretty accurate. And uh, even if it's within 20%, that's still pretty crazy. Um, so the $60 million home was 65,000 square feet according to Zillow. Now, I'm assuming that's correct. I'm sitting here looking at it. It's a pretty dang on big place. The $64.5 million place next door is like 56,000 square feet or something like that. And I'm looking at that going, wow. I mean, how much money do you have to have to have a $60 million place in South Florida on the beach like that with, I don't know, it looks like it probably has a half acre of land around it or maybe more. Uh, just unbelievable I don't even, I mean you'd have to be at least billionaire I think to have that kind of place or or maybe you're 500 millionaire and you're living a little beyond your means or whatever that's crazy so to put that in perspective when we had our company um, former company we had the two of the warehouses that were next door to each other uh, the main location and then the the one we had expanded to not long before I left the company combined were 61,000 square feet. So this house that's $60 million is just a little bit bigger than those two warehouses combined. 65,000 square feet, $60.7 million is what Zillow shows the value at. That's insane. Um, you know, if I won the, the lottery tonight, you know, I think the Powerball and Mega, Mill Mega Millions are both $300 million or something like that. I couldn't even, I, I, that, I would have a hard time buying a, a place that's three or $4 million probably. That's insane. Um, I just can't wrap my mind around who would have a place 
like that. Um, but I don't want to keep on that subject. Um, why am I showing you this? You know, I started this vlog a few weeks ago. Uh, this is vlog number 24. And I'm just having fun with it. I'm just sharing what we're doing here in South Florida, sharing what I've learned, uh, traveling around, doing things, working on the things that I'm working on. And, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying, I hope you're enjoying the footage and the sunsets and all these things. We saw some amazing things this evening um, down by Fort Myers Beach Pier. Uh, here, you know, I'll, I'll show you a little uh, clip video at the end, but um, it's pretty, pretty amazing to go out anytime here and see the things that we see. Um, and, and I'm just trying to share that with you guys. It, it, it's amazing and uh, I can't comprehend how some of those people live down in, in that area of South Florida. It's just, just mind boggling to see places that big that cost that much money. Um, you know, I was looking at the, you know, there's one that was like three, uh, $39 million or something. I said, like, I'd be happy with having the 39 million and yeah, I'd be happy with having the 3.9 million. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I wanted to, to show you the boat we ended up deciding on. Um, you know, after going down to Naples and looking at all those options, yachts, I mean, there was one that was 3.9 million, but it was used. So uh, we opted for a new boat and uh, wanted to share that with you. So here it is. Um, that actually, it, it should be here pretty soon. I was surprised at how quickly we could get this. So I wanted to show you that show that with you so i'll leave uh you with that as we leave the video and then if you stick around you'll see the little amazing video clip from fort myers beach this evening so let me take the camera off the tripod here um i'm going to show you the boat i've got to pull it up online here we we ended up not getting it here in florida if we, if we found it online and uh, it was just we, we thought it was the one that was right sized for us wouldn't overextend us and uh, something that we would be able to enjoy, uh, Tammy and I would be able to enjoy together. So um, let me just, I'll turn the camera around here and show you what we finally settled on. There it is, $167. And uh, according to Amazon, it uh, says it could be here uh, by the end of June. So we're, we're, we're very fortunate. 